The objective for this exercise is to develop skill to produce quality fillet welds on 125 thousandths inch aluminum sheet in the horizontal position. The materials, equipment, and power source settings are the same as in the previous practice and are listed in your workbook. The workpiece for this practice requires three pieces of aluminum plate tack welded to form one lap and one T-joint. The lap joint is formed by overlapping two plates about one half their width and then tack welding them in position at each end. The T-joint is added by positioning a third plate perpendicular to the top plate of the lap joint and tack welding it in position at each end. While the joints are still hot, clean them thoroughly with a stainless steel wire brush to remove any contaminating oxides. In order to prevent an excessively wide bead with overpenetration, only one side of the lap and T-joints will be welded in sequence. The joint must cool before it can be welded on the opposite side. Place the workpiece in a horizontal position that allows free movement for welding. For the lap joint, a 45 degree work angle and a 20 to 30 degree push travel angle will be used. Start the arc and move quickly along the root of the joint with a smooth, steady motion without hesitating or moving too slowly. The proper travel speed will keep the electrode wire slightly ahead of the center of the puddle. The finished well should be flat with a quarter inch wide face fully penetrating the joint. Proper travel speed is critical for producing quality aluminum wells. Too slow a speed will cause wide concave beads. Too fast a travel will cause narrow convex beads. It is also important that proper gun angles are maintained and that the gun nozzle stays in the root of the joint. Improper gun angles cause undercut. The T-joint will use the same 45 degree work angle and 20 to 30 degree push travel angle used for the lap joint. Start the arc and move smoothly and steadily along the joint, keeping the nozzle aimed at the root. Adjust your speed so that the electrode is slightly ahead of the center of the puddle. The finished bead should be a quarter inch wide and flush to slightly concave. After cooling, weld the opposite sides of the piece using the same gun angles and procedures. Inspect the welds and continue practice.